Hi again, it's Clockwork McGrim, continuing my speed painting of Quasar. And this time around, I'd like to talk about something that I encountered a lot as a young artist that I find gross now as a less young artist. And that's this idea that, like, you can't hang out with people who have art that's more technically refined than yours, which I find super duper gross because, like, I don't know, you hear the phrase art community, and I should like to think that as artists, those of us here who draw and paint or whatever could uphold the idea that it's an art community, not an art clicky judging people stupid place. Cause like, certainly with my art friends, as a little kid, definitely, like, your skill or your talent had something to do with it. And as I got older, I realized I don't care, because what's more important is, is the artist, like, a good person or not. That's all of it. Like, it's the same as with anything else. I, I definitely knew someone who was the exact opposite, where it was like the person's art matters more than their personality and if you just hang out with all of the cool popular people who have, you know, really popular art styles, that's better than actually having friends. And I just don't agree with that, because certainly I would prefer to have art friends who I can, you know, do art trades with. and talk to and stuff like that instead of just like staring at them from afar and I'm I'm certainly of a sub-generation of artists that I see some with more technical skill than me and I'm like oh geez guess I can't talk to them because they're much better than me and like it's just kind of irritating I guess to feel like that like to feel like or we can't just be people trying to connect about a, a, a hobby we share, or sometimes a job we share. And, I mean, I get that, like, subcategories of art are a thing, and maybe, like, you know, people who are super into one media don't really hang out with people who are super into another one, but that shouldn't mean that they, like, are nasty to each other, or tell each other, like, we won't hang out with you because we don't, like, I'm not, I'm not about that. I'm, I'm about, I like to draw things, you like to draw things, we like to draw things, yay, happy fun times. And even if you don't like to draw things, we can still be friends, like, that's, I'm, I'm about the whole community aspect of the art community, not the, um, clicky aspect of life in general. I find that to be unhelpful at best and um, damaging to everyone in the general area at worst. So yeah, that, that's my preachy spiel today, is just don't, don't be a jerk about art and don't feel like you can't talk to people because of your art style or their art style. I mean, some people are just hard to approach, but yeah, I don't know, I just, I dealt with this a lot as a kid, that it's like, oh, you, you can't talk to these people because they're in the advanced art class and you're not, and like, I don't know, it, it's, it's burning bridges, effectively. It's burning bridges you haven't even built yet, which is frankly a, a waste of metaphorical wood and actual time and energy. Like, it's so much easier to like be encouraging to someone than it is to be clicky. If we're gonna even use that word, I don't even know if it applies, but like. For reals. It's so much easier to just, like, be nice to someone rather than start something. That is my entire experience with art. Like, the art friends that I have, 
This sounds preachy, but skill level is not even something I'm paying attention to because I like to go by the mantra of it's not better, it's just different. And while technical skill is important, it's still like, it shouldn't be something that separates us, you know? Or categorizes us or walls us off from each other, because that's just not, not super fun. I, I believe in the big happy art family thing, and I mean some people are just jerks, but you know, I certainly if I got to the point as an artist where people would think I was too good of an artist for them to talk to, that would actually make me super sad, because it's like, no, I totally want to talk to people. And like, well, if you're friendly to me, I totally want to talk to you. And so it'd be really sad to think of like, other people who are like me, who are like, man, I wish I could talk to people who have better art than me, but I feel like I'm not allowed to. Like, that's something that gets imposed on people. I'm repeating myself a lot here because I still have whew, two minutes. Anyways, I know some people totally don't struggle with this, but I do, where I'm like, oh man, this person is, you know, they have more views on their channel or they have more subscribers on whatever website. Therefore, I can't talk to them because they won't like me because my art's not as good. And like, how dare I? And I just feel like that's not constructive or productive in any way, shape, or form. Like, I don't know, plus then you, you get into like the weird hero worship stuff where you get fanboys that are like, oh my god, your art is so good, ah! And that's, that's just as weird, actually. And also that is to say, so my, my summed up points here are, don't be ashamed of your art, but don't be a snob either. Because I feel like there's this inverse bell curve thing going on where you start out as an artist and you're like, oh man, I am the best. And then you see people that are better than you, or more, I don't like the word better, let's say more technically skilled, and you're like, oh man, I'm the worst. And then at some point you gotta like, level off and be like, you know what, I have room to improve, but my art isn't that bad. And I feel like if we all had that mentality, things would just be better, you know? For everyone, there'd be less stress. And I'm all about less stress. So, th those are my, my teaching points for all of you today. If, if I were more inclined to, to be a hippie, I'd say we can go meditate on this, but I'm not, I'm more uh, harsh and cut and dried than that, so don't be a snob, but don't be ashamed either. That's all for now, because I'm out of things to say. I'm Clockwork McGroom, and thanks for listening. Until next time.